Welcome to the Office Events section. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use your Office Events for your bookkeeping office. In the example on the screen, we see that there are three Office Events that are open, and they're highlighted in yellow, sales tax, weekly payroll, Form 941 preparation. For bookkeeping, these, as opposed to being a workflow, are more typically task assignments, task reminders. So I need to remember to do my sales tax, my weekly payroll, my 941 preparation. I could create more by just selecting the drop down menu, form W2, 940, whichever I'd like. I can, as, as you know, you can create as many office events pretty much as you'd like. Um, so to see all my office events, those that have been completed, I just would select left click my office events show all events. It's gonna display all the ones that have been completed and they're not highlighted in yellow as you see. So all the weekly payrolls, as I complete them, I just put an end date and that would close them out. And I'll show you how it's automatically gonna recreate another one so I can be reminded seven days from now to do it all over again. I left click to only show my open events. So let's focus in on the event weekly payroll. So I have it set up that I have a permanent note that this client will email timesheets to my email sales at Adam Manager rather than sending them through my client portal. And we have a video showing how you can create this permanent note. But as I close this out, a new weekly payroll will be created with the same message so that it's a reminder so I know that they're going to send it via email as opposed to through the portal. So as I'm done with my weekly payroll, I'm just going to go ahead and select my edit pencil. And if I'd like to make any notes regarding that payroll, I could just say if I'm done or received the hours late or whatever you'd like. And then I'm just going to come over here and select the end date. And then I'm going to save. And that's going to close that weekly payroll out for that week. It's going to recreate a new one because I have it set up in my admin on the event status page for recursive days. I have it set up every seven days. I want a new weekly event, weekly payroll to be recreated. So for sales tax, I have it set up for every 30 days. For 941, I have it set up for every 90 days. So as I close it out, a new one's going to be recreated. And the start date is going to be, as you see here now, it's set up as 1219. So that's when it'll actually will display on my home page to remind me to do the weekly payroll. I could also assign this to myself if I'd like, but typically I think just seeing it on the home page is a good enough reminder of which clients I need to do the payroll for. Um, one more thing I want to point out is in the video we talked about for tax preparation, the preferred method to close an event and create a new one is using the status drop down here in the account information section. That is not the preferred method if you're doing bookkeeping because you have multiple events open at the same time. So it'd be very difficult for Adam to know which event you want to close out and create a new one. So when you have multiple events open, what you need to do is select the edit pencil, come over to the end date, stamp it, save it. That'll close that event out. And because we have it set up to recreate that event again in so many days, that's how you will do it when you have multiple events open at the same time. That's all I have for office events for your bookkeeping office. Thank you.